So we've been using an Amec Angela here at MTC for the last couple of years. Um, this is a board that was built in the early 80s, and our particular run was built for Peter Frampton. Now I love recording and mixing on analog consoles. There's a big difference in the sound and workflow for me, but they have literally thousands of switches and knobs, and when they hit a certain age, they kind of hit a wall of reliability. And so we made the decision to replace this console uh, to go ahead and sell it and get a new one. So I finished up all the album projects that had been done on this console, and we did the last show uh, around the end of May using it. And we had a buyer coming up the next morning from LA to take it away, so we only had time to play one last Peter Frampton song through the board, and Jordan and RJ got pretty excited about the 70s style split screen. And then we just toasted it and shut it down and set about to start packing it up so it could get taken away the next morning. Now this console weighs about 700 pounds, and so moving it is not a small task. Um, luckily, each individual channel comes out from above. So you can see here, we, uh, we're here with the new buyer, Jeb, who drove up from LA. And one by one, those modules come out until you're left with just a bare frame. Now the frame by itself is something like 400 pounds. So it's lighter, but it's still not any fun at all to move. We got it scooted away from the wall here. Um, luckily, the guy Jeb drove up with from L.A. was a prop designer, and so he knows how to move heavy things. Here we're just cleaning the frame out and all the coiled cables, and so the console gets wrapped in plastic wrap and taken out. And so we loaded it into Jeb's trailer. He drove it down to L.A. He's going to actually refurbish the whole thing. So a week later, the new console arrives. This is an SSL AWS 900. It was built in about 2007, and so it fits much better into a modern studio in terms of workflow and what you can do with it. Sonically, it's a huge step up from our old board, uh, but there's a learning curve just getting everything up and running, and there's about 60 snake cables behind the board, so a lot of wiring to do. A couple of really long days and a couple of really long nights, uh, we got the whole thing installed and up and running. We're actually listening to the first project that I mixed on the board. It's Brandon Vance and Mark Minkler. A couple of really beautiful features about this console are moving fader automation. So all the faders are computer controlled and they remember all the movements. So it's really easy to put together a nice sounding mix. Also, this board has what SSL calls total recall, which means that every knob and switch can be remembered by this onboard computer. And so when it's time to recall a mix, uh, it kind of coaches you through the process of restoring all those settings. So this is a way to still mix on a fully analog console, but it's not too hard to get that mix back at a later date if you need to make a revision to it. So for me, it's a way to keep using analog, which to me sounds better, and integrate it into a modern studio environment. So we're really excited about it, and we hope you come check it out too.